All right, what up guys? Welcome to the Just Pearly Things YouTube channel and welcome to Morning Coffee Thoughts where I give my thoughts over morning coffee. Um, today, I am going to be talking about, um, I guess just like what's going to happen to the future of the network with the demonetization um, and honestly just some changes we were really going to be making anyways. Um, so about two years ago, I started the pregame. And the pregame was a show where I brought over guests four times a week to have conversations about relationships. Um, and honestly, guys, I just can't do it anymore. I can't. I cannot argue with OnlyFans models and low IQ women that are looking to get offended. I don't know how Myron does it. I really don't. Uh, that man qualifies for sainthood for the amount of patience that he has. Nobody will understand the amount of patience. <laughs> the amount of patience you have to have to do this job. <laughs> now, granted, it is the best job ever and it is a lot of fun, but I really see the future of my channel on Pearl Daily, not on the pregame. Um, and the reason that it, I think I'm going to do an odd one here or there, but I, I decided this for two reasons. Number one, I'm just tired. I feel like I've learned what I needed to learn from interviewing these chicks. Um, and I don't know, something like changed over time. When I was smaller, there was a little bit more of like a genuine, genuineness in conversation people used to have. And that was kind of why I loved it, um, to be honest. Like I really, I loved having these like open, honest conversations where we could go into like topics um, that were kind of taboo. I really liked that. Um, but the bigger I got, the more people just kind of want to come on for clout, get their 10 seconds of fame. Um, they come in like, I don't know, something along the way. And it's weird because you get into media and you start to realize that everyone just like has an agenda. Like it's not really about finding like what what's true, you know? And I learned that when I went on Pierce Morgan. Well. I learned that a couple times, but that was like a lesson I had to just keep getting hit in the face with. Um, I learned that a couple times because, yeah, I would like go on and I would think we're like here to have a conversation and it would just be like, not every time I went on Pierce, but um, I don't know. You start to realize it's kind of like it, it, it started off as like a genuineness and I don't know. It's just not the same, like, as it used to be, I guess. Um, but even outside of that, guys, I was going to quit it anyway. Um, because now that we're demonetized, they're kind of expensive to put on. And also, the number one reason, um, I have had, like, kind of thyroid issues. And I think a lot of it is due with the sleep habits that came with doing the shows. Um, and now I only do the shows once a week and my sleep schedule is a lot better. Um, and before, you know, when I was doing it for, but anyways, my point is, uh, it just doesn't really coincide with like what I want to do in life and like <laughs> having more of a life outside of the shows. So yeah, I, I just, it's not really what I want to do in the future. I really see Pearl Daily evolving. Um, and I really want to do, I, I want to talk about high society a little bit and I want to, um, kind of do some field trips with you guys where we go to like the classy parts of London because, you know, London has a, a level of class that us Americans just really don't have like that in most areas. I mean, there's something down to earth about some jeans and like being from the, the, the Midwest, don't get me wrong, but I don't know, there's something kind of elegant 
about certain parts of England and I kind of want to show you guys. Um, at some point, I actually, I want to sign up for a finishing school and like, I don't know, bring you guys along with me. I think it'll be fun. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're semi discontinuing the pregame for now. Um, again, I just, I can't keep up with the sleep schedule. I can't do it guys. Um, other thing is Troy Francis is going to oh start a show with the network semi soon. Um, I know you guys have seen him here and there. So let me know if there's like videos that you want him to do. We're thinking he's going to do a call-in show um, where men and women can ask advice on dating. Because he's been a pickup artist for like 10 years or I don't know what they call it, like a dating coach. Um, Christine Nazarene is starting a channel this week. So um, essentially we're going to have four talents at the network. Um, we are going to build a platform and we're in the middle of it. We're building a platform for, I think the last like 20 minutes of Pearl Daily are going to be behind a paywall. I hate doing that guys. I hate doing it, but, um, I, we have to figure out a way to monetize with the current issues. Um, which I, I was lucky that I actually saved a good amount of expenses. So we're going to be okay for a couple of months, but we got to figure out like a long-term plan here. So I have a meeting with YouTube today where they're going to tell me uh, hopefully what, what I even said, because to this day, all these fake news reaction channels, and especially there's one, I'm not going to say his name. I'm not going to say his name, but I saw his reporting and the OG fans will know who I'm talking about. I saw his reporting on me. This man is the most, he, <laughs> he was like, <laughs> He was like, oh, when I did a collab with Pearl, we made sure we ID'd every person. <laughs> That's a big liar. He's such a liar. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> oh, I could tell you stories, but I won't. But okay. All right. I just, that's what I figured out when I got online, that everyone is such a panderer. And it's so crazy because that Nick Fuentes, I think, was my biggest lesson. Because in Nick Fuentes, I saw exactly who would sell you out for money and who wouldn't. Um, yeah, I don't know. So anyways, those are my updates with the network. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And get yourself some new merch, guys. We have whale merch. We have Women Shouldn't Be Online merch. We have all these different types of merch. You got to go check it out. Um... I'll put the link in the description like the video. Bye, guys.